This might look like a holiday spot, but those who live in here never see this magnificent view. This is the district prison of Salyan. The warden Vikram Casey has a tough job. Besides managing the prison, he also has to make sure that the building doesn't fall apart. This is his office. This building was built as a stable. It was later turned into a prison. This building is over 100 years old. Most prisons in Nepal were built between 1846 and 1951, and today maintenance is often ignored. Look, the wood here is rotting. And like many other prisons in Nepal, this one houses more people than it can manage. This building's capacity is just 20 people, but right now it houses more than 70 inmates. Authorities fear that should the number of prisoners increase, they might have to pitch tents outside to accommodate them. The inmates have to share the narrow areas outside the building for warmth in the winter sun. Recreation is limited to a board game called carom. The only way to make money is knitting. Petty thieves to hardcore criminals all share this space. As the dry season starts, there's a new crisis. The drinking water supply for the district headquarters has dried up. We have to buy tankers of water and manage within the budget given by the government. Last year, prisoners had to manage with only two mugs of water a day. We have written to the headquarters requesting them to rebuild this prison. The government is building prisons in stages across the country. In 2008, a UN study said prisons in Nepal needed to be upgraded. Prison operators and the police say it's happening, but for most of these inmates, it's taking much too long. Subina Shreshta, Al Jazeera, Salyan, Western Nepal.